Hello, and thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you're returning, thanks. It means a lot. Okay, we're diving back into the Honda tuning suite and how to basically burn a .bin file, which is your map, to a chip. And this is specifically going to be using the Motes Burn 2 burner and the Motes Burn software because I know when I was starting out and depending on your laptop, sometimes uh, HTS feature, which is under file and burn chip or file chip right here. Sometimes this doesn't work properly with older laptops, at least on mine it didn't. So I had to go around and actually install the Motes software. So the first thing you want to do obviously is you have HTS, you made your map and now you want to burn it. So go directly to Moats site, which is support.moats.net forward slash flash and burn. And I'll drop the link down in the description. So it's there. You're going to come to the support site that Moat set up and you're going to be sitting here with the flash and burn. And if you look down here, it is the yellow hyperlink here. It says download flash and burn. We're going to click on it. So I just downloaded it, scanning for viruses and we want to open the file. So we're opening it up yet. And yes, you want to run it. So it's going to go through the moats set up here you're going to accept the agreement and i just i let it do whatever it wants to do and finish okay now that you have the software installed on your computer you need to go to your desktop and find it okay so the next thing you're going to want to do after you install the software and find wherever it is i happen to have it in a folder here you're going to want to plug in your burn too it's going to install any drivers that needs to install automatically. And then you can go ahead and open up your flash and burn. As if you see, as you see here, we have all the supported chips and options. This will burn multiple different chips. The one we're concerned with right now for an SST chip for a Honda is 27 SF512. We want to blank check the chip. That's basically checking if anything's written on the chip. So I'll insert a video now on how to properly put the chip into the burn two. Okay, at this point you have successfully downloaded and installed the burn two software from Moat's website. And you have your burn two here. And as you can see, there's a label that says notch towards handle. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your SST chip, put it all the way at the bottom here, and then your notch is towards the handle up here. And there's a little notch in the top there too. So if you see the notch there and the notch there, it says notch at top. And then you just lock it down and it's in there. All right, once the chip is properly installed, we're going to blank check it. Blue light's going to flash. It's checking to see if it's blank. And the chip is blank. So the next thing you have to do is you want to load file to buffer. So basically, you're going to go in here and you're going to find the bit, the .bin file that you made in HTS, wherever you saved it in your computer. So this one happens to be in Documents for me, d16z6.bin, and we're going to open it. It's still not loaded yet. So now that it's loaded onto there, we want to program the chip. Now you're going to see prom IO succeeded and what i like to do is i like to read the chip to make sure that it's not blank anymore and boom it succeeded which means that it wrote properly and then we're going to verify chip with buffer and we have a successful validation that is it you now have burned dot bin file to your sst chip and now you can put that chip into your ecu and start running your car. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.